Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it. With my Guru 15 discount code at checkout, uh, the Series 7 QBank can be yours for as little as $58.50. Uh, we help you with any question from any uh, test prep vendors. It's easier if it's Kaplan because I can pull it up uh, backstage. This is a request for an explication of QID 1424103. An investor is bearish on the outlook of Fern, uh, I don't know, Fern, whatever, travel services and sells 400 shares short at 52. So what I always like to do is I uh, get the market value here and see what uh, is going to happen. You know, and the margin questions you're either going to have to do is a minimum, an initial setup, and then perhaps a mark to market. So first thing I want to do is figure, okay, I'm shorting 400 shares at 52. So the short market value is 20,800. Uh, I like to do my initial setup. So I'm going to get 28,000, uh, 20,800 from selling the borrowed stock. Uh, I'm going to have to put half with that, my reg T call. This is where most people get hung up. So my credit register, my credit balance in my margin account is 31,200. Uh, you should definitely know the classical margin equation long and the classical margin equation short. The classical margin equation short is the credit register minus short market value equals equity. So that second line always represents what you owe. In a long margin account, what you owe is money. In a short margin account, what you owe are securities. Uh, three months later, the market price of FTS is 58. Uh-oh, that is the wrong direction. Wrong direction. Under federal rules, a maintenance call will be issued when the price of FTS shares is. Well, be careful. You know, be careful. I'm not asking what is maintenance. Maintenance is 30%. That's not what this question is asking. This question is asking how far up can the stock go before there would be a maintenance call? And so that we do that, we're going to have to figure out what's called market value at maintenance. Uh, I'll link in the video description a pinned comment to my lecture on both how to do this in a long account. In a long account, we take the debit by 0.75. In a short account, to figure this out, we're going to take the credit register and divide by 1.3. That will give us market value at maintenance. And again, we just got to be a little careful here. So, uh, boom. Well, what happened there? And there we go. Boom. Uh, okay. So there's our formula. Credit register by 1.3 gives us market value of maintenance. So our credit register cash in our account is 31200 We divide by 1.3 and we find out that the stock goes, uh, the market value goes above 24000 we're going to have a problem. Now, what we got to be careful of here is remember there's 400 shares. So now we got to figure out what that would mean on a per share basis. So we take 24 grand, we divide by the 400 shares, and that tells us if it rises above $60 a share, there's our answer. We're going to have a maintenance call. So 60 would be at maintenance. It says a maintenance call above 60. We're at 58. We got a couple more points here. You know, uh, not in this question, but what you might want to strongly consider doing in terms of risk mitigation is putting a buy stop at 60 or buying a protective call at uh, 60. Uh, all right. So hope you found that helpful. Remember, inch by inch, your series seven is a cinch, yard by yard, your exam is series seven exam is hard. And I'll see you for the next explication request. Uh, and I will link to debit by 0.75 lecture and credit by 1.3, which is what this question is about, determining market value at maintenance. Bye-bye.